Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 3 of our City Skylines Let's Play. Today we're back in Twin Rivers, and we got a lot to do. So, without further ado, my name's Ian, or Astro Emerald, or if you'd like, just call me Astro. And we are going to continue expanding our Evergreen Hills, our Riverside, and then I finally figured out a name I'd like to call for up here. So today, this is one of our projects. We laid it out in the previous episode. And this is going to be, let's get our districts here, paint district, that's what we're going to do. We are going to call this the Rolling River Hills. Not very creative, I'm going to be honest. We got rivers, we got rolling hills, and it's on a hill. But I thought it would be a clever name. Um, it's actually based off a cocktail from a bar I went to called Rolling River. And yeah, I just kind of thought it fit. It's right in between two rivers. I thought, you know, what not? Why not just uh, call it that? So I think this would be a really nice space to expand. Uh, before we get a little farther, I just want to say there's been a lot of support on the past two videos, and I know I take forever to upload. Uh, I'm still relatively new to this, and it's kind of hard and a little bit stressful, but I'm, I'm enjoying it and having fun. And all I can think about really is playing this game, so I'm excited to continue this next episode. I kind of want to just get right into it because I feel like progression has been slow. I've been watching some other gameplay and people are much farther than I am by this point. So I said, why not? Let's make some progress. So not Madison District. I said Rolling, Rolling River Hills. And then for sure, we can call it RRH. You know, I feel like some areas have like their own uh, kind of lingo and what they call themselves. Uh, I don't think we're going to put on homes yet because I'm kind of a little bit nervous to mess with terrain right away. I actually have something in mind first. Uh, I see, we have a lot of money, so we can do a lot of things uh, this episode. So let's look at, we're going to do smoke detector distribution, recycling, parks and rec. And I don't know if we need any of these. I think we'll just keep it at that for now. But yeah, I think that's a good layout for where we're going to put more of the wealthier affluent people. I know in the future, I downloaded a golf course asset. I want to have a golf course come down here. And then we'll have walkways connected to it. Uh, that way it's more of like a park with a golf course in it. And then I got this really nice asset right here. Pedestrian overpass medium roads. And I thought, you know, if we have the golf course roll down here. and Or maybe, sorry, the golf course roll over here. And then have the walking path connect this part of the town to the top of the hill over here. We have a nice little overpass right here, something like this. Maybe we'll work on that at the end of the episode or something. Uh, but that way we have a nice little connection for the people over here to get over here without a crosswalk or anything like that to cause more traffic. Because so I have a feeling once we get the city set up down over here, and this is you know a big street to uh, cross over, it might might be a little uh, high on the traffic. So let's, let's start, let's make sure we're making some money and we're not just sitting here and we go bankrupt. I was also thinking about smaller things. So when I was looking through the town, I noticed we are missing some road upgrades. So these ones all have wide sidewalks. We might have to fix that later, but I'm not really worried about it because we're gonna be adding bus lines, I think today. And that will also be messing with some other roads. But I wanted to make sure we we fixed up some of these. We don't got those rural roads anywhere around. Another thing I was thinking, I was looking over here. We got a lot of traffic. A lot of problems going down here. It doesn't seem like it, but it's a heavy tra traffic flow. Look at this. That's not good. 86%. That's fine. But I think we can fix this a little bit. I think if we get a, let's see here, a four lane. You know, I really thought this was straight and I'm just very wrong, clearly. But uh, I don't think it'll cause too much of a problem. And then we'll head over into here and we'll check this out and see where these cars are going. So I always want you to take the right. And you take the right. And I always need you to go there. And I actually don't, how do I, I want this to happen. Wow, he just hopped the curb. He could have killed someone right there. Uh, wow, wow, this is this is sketchy. This is a sketchy area. We 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 don't want to have people walking here. So maybe what the heck's going on over here? 
Oh, maybe because I was messing with those roads for a little bit. This seems like a not a good intersection having this close. Um, so I, I'm not sure what we can do here, but I think I actually made things worse, like usual with the traffic. Uh, if we take a look, what is going on over here? So this should just be right only, and this should always be straight. Maybe that will clean things up. What the? You can't do that. That's cheating. That is so illegal. These people, man. These people. This. This I actually just want going straight. I want people to come here and then turn and use the roundabout. We might have caused more traffic problems. Richard's just looking a little, little hairy. Is there any way we can mess with these lights? You know what? We might just not have this road here. How about that? How, how, do, we, how do we like that? We'll just put a two lane road and connect these guys up. Maybe that will help. Yeah, I like that. That's why this is just the industry going all the way over. Another thing we need to look at is this traffic here. So I have this nice, I think if we go here all the way over, no, be here. I have this right here, medium industry road. I wanted to take a look and see what this looks like. That does look like an industry road, but maybe, yeah, maybe this is the start of our inner, industry section. And then this actually is pretty nice just for the industry people to be on because not a lot of re residentials can go this way. And then let's take a look here. This is really getting backed up. So I think another problem we're running into right now and that I'd like to uh, work on, but I need a bigger population, is having another connection here. We talked about this last episode, and I found a really nice asset, but I don't think our population is quite there yet. Let's see, we're looking here. Yeah, we need 4,600, so that's gonna kind of change my plans. I think this is what I'm looking, or sorry, this is what I'm looking at. It's not gonna show me because I haven't unlocked it yet, um, but for right now, we should fix the traffic situation. And how I'd like to do that is, I guess for right, is this four lane or six lane? Four lane. It's just bump these guys all up. This is gonna be like our industry wall. I don't want any other industries going past this. We'll maybe build like this is like a park entrance. Um, and Another thing I would like to do, can I ban heavy, uh, or sorry, uh, I don't have city planning yet. I think that's where you can ban trucks from going here. Um, but this looks like it, it squared some things up a little bit. Maybe having I don't know if I want to connect that. This is just getting backed up big time. So let's have a peek here. See what's going on. Why is no one ever going in this lane? Maybe if I make this turn only. Maybe if we do something like that. This should always be leaving. Look, they don't know what to do. And you know what? Just because we did change some traffic stuff, I'm gonna clear the traffic. Boom, they're gone, they're all dead. And maybe they'll fix some things up. This, this is, this might be a problem. 
Um, delete that. Alright, that's a little better. That won't... Maybe that's where the traffic was coming from. So hopefully this cleaned things up. Uh, power should be back online. I don't know why it's saying no power here. Oh, I... I need... There we go. Everyone ran out of power. I'm really just... Turn this episode off hot. Um, so I guess it's time to... I don't know. Work on the rolling hills. We need more... Ex we need more homes. So I think what we should do is continue this out for right now. Uh, we'll go two lane road. We're gonna get a nice curve here. As long as... Hmm. I'm looking for something like that. And now we'll start building another neighborhood like this. Uh, we could almost build this out as well. But we'll start building out here so that we kind of have like a natural flow and then they cross over. Um, and that there's different connections elsewhere and we don't have a pile up of traffic right away. So what we're going to do here. So I'd like this. There needs to be a... Maybe we'll... There needs to be something like that there. Uh, I just want to say, once again, thanks everyone for the support. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm pretending I'm talking to my cat, Cody, over here, and that um, he's enjoying the video. But I'm a little, I'm just a little overwhelmed. I don't know where we should be progressing. All right, apologize about that, folks. Uh, dog was barking a little bit. I didn't want to get in the way of the commentary. So I think I have an idea what we're going to do here. I'm going to start from here and just get a road build out. And then we'll just build like a grid pattern as best as we can to connect. Hmm, maybe we should actually just do something like this. Maybe not. I don't like that idea. Maybe we'll just go out like this and then we'll do connections. I like that a little better. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good to me. Try to make sure we can have good spacing between the homes. And we'll build out the neighborhood like this. Ooh, I forgot to press pause. Yeah, we're making great money so far. How's the traffic going on over here? Look, it's looking a lot nicer. It just goes right into these industry roads over here. And then I'll later on explain what we're doing with that. So my thoughts over here is we have this separate town. And it's gonna be like, not part of this. This feels like an extension of this to me. Maybe not, maybe because they're across, like got across the river, but I want that to be a connection, right? That's what we're focused on in the future. But here, this is gonna be separate. This is gonna have its own, um, its own kind of like services and stuff like that. So we'll build this out and then we'll just connect these as well. Like that. All right, we just really need to grow our population because I want to get work on the industry stuff. We are going to need the water to reach here and we're probably going to have to get to the point where we're getting more, uh... that does not look good at all. <laughs> These, this will stress me out. They're not straight. Okay, that's good enough. We're not going to spend too much time on making a ridiculous amount of nodes. There we go. So as soon as we get water out here, the issue is gonna be getting power out here. Um, I think for, why why do we have no power? Hmm. Looks like it's time for another coal power plant. Jeez, man. I didn't realize how much power one goes through here. So we have one there, so we'll just keep it back over here. Up the power a little bit. And then we're probably going to need power lines from here to 
to about here. Doesn't look the nicest, but I, this this is all temporary, folks. So don't don't you worry. And then let's get some homes. I'm gonna avoid this main street for now on, um, but I'm gonna get us started over here. I might have to terraform a bit. I didn't really look. It doesn't look that bad. I do want more of something that's angled. I don't want to just keep it a flat world. Our home is starting to be built. Am I missing something over here? There we go. Like, that's weird to me. I don't know what kind of homes go in these little tiles. Little, little shacks, little baby homes. But I really want to just boost our population. We're at 4,000. We need a 4,600. So let's see where this takes us. We're still making great money. We are going to need some services out here. So I just want to think about that before we go too far. We're going to consider this to be the center. Maybe have a bridge to cross here. We're going to want to keep this kind of clearish. So let's see here. I'm going to build out some more and I will get back to you after we've built this out a bit. All right, and we're back. So I just did a few upgrades. I, there's a lot of things I've been uh, just watching my episodes back. And I just spent a little bit too much time thinking and overthinking things and not really having a plan. So I just kind of want to skip that as I'm developing the idea. So I really like this space here. I think this would be amazing for an open park that we use. Um, I don't think I have the park and plazas DLC, but I've been thinking about getting it and I just really love the idea of building like our own green space out here. Um, another thing I've been thinking about a lot is a green belt. So if our city is here and we have suburbs here, here, maybe here, here, you know, up here, right? I obviously we have a mountain right here, but I still want to have like a green belt going around it right so we'll have our golf course here we'll have the nicer homes maybe green space you know parks around here but around these edges can be a really nice space to just make sure our population has has their natural habitat has where this what this place is these nice trees um the, uh, making sure like all the rocks are intact stuff like that you know like where this place actually came from and not just destroying it with infrastructure and stuff like that so I think it boosts the happiness too. Maybe that's not a thing in this game, but just like the idea if I were to live here, I would like make sure I don't have to venture very far for a green space. So wrap it around. And then as well as right here, which we're gonna finish up in a little bit, but we're getting close to that milestone. So I'm just gonna add a few more homes so we can get there. It looks like we're having a garbage problem as well. Let's take a look here. Landfill usage, yeah, it's at the highest. Um, if we come here, what do I got? Do a recycling center, will that Maybe, ooh, this one's expensive, but we can actually afford this. But I think we'll just go with this guy. And I want to keep him. Oh, there's power lines here. I want to keep him close on the way out so that the trucks aren't going too far. And then let's also probably get another landfill. Yikes, it's, this place is gonna look gross. Absolutely foul. There, so it's easy connections to this little interstate. What the heck is going on over here? It's what happens if you just look away from the stuff you're doing, there's just more problems, I promise. Like, you, you can't, you can't just do that. That is cheating. That is. And maybe for right now, because it looks like no cars are going straight, we are going to go and make this a caution. This is all going to be caution. I think I'll speed things up a little bit. This needs to stay as an intersection for pedestrians, but look, everyone is leaving this way. Is the trash issue resolved? Yes. But uh, people aren't happy. So back over here, I uh, added all our 
special things, you know, our little services over here. I didn't add a school. What I wanted to have a peek at is what is our population for a school over here? I'm pretty much max. Garbage is piled up. Dude, students, they're filthy. I'm telling you, teenagers, scary creatures. Looks like we can use another elementary school, so it'd be great to have one over here. And I want to keep in mind, let's keep it near the park. Um, keep it near services. I just think it's a little bit more safer and a little bit more better for the infrastructure. Uh, so it'd be really nice to just lop that down. Actually, I don't know where we'll block this down. I don't want to destroy too many homes. Let's just put it right in the na nice, nice little neighborhood. Get a, bring you down a bit though. Little, oh, oh, we've got floating cars. We got, where is the bottom of this building? There. Why is that? There we go. This, that's what it should look like. This is, whew. We, gotta, we need a reminder. I gotta start terraforming things before uh, it gets too late. So these people are always gonna have a trash problem because to the trash bin is going from here to here. So I think in the future, we may have to connect this belt and then this will be cut throughs, which is not, not gonna be great. Our city's just gonna be a mess with congestion. Um, I'm really close to that population boost. So I just wanna see what else I can do. Maybe we can get some more parks around here. Uh, what's this, a birthday plaza. I like a basketball court. Do I have one of these down somewhere? That'd look awesome next to the high school. If we can get that. Oh, no. None of this. Did we already look into this? Oh. That might be promising. Having it. Yeah, near the like this idea maybe we'll have oh wait, this is elementary school what am i doing we probably want it i want to right over here is there any other cool uh parks maybe a nice Parking lot. Why doesn't this connect? Is this how I'm supposed to use this asset? Because it doesn't. There's no road. You know what? I guess that looks pretty okay. So I think we will do another. Where am I? That's way too big. And then we could probably just move this to connect it. Oh, they switch sides. Huh. I wonder how that works. But um, yeah, so now we have parking for the high school, right? And we have a basketball court. This is a really good touch, actually. I'm very happy with this. This has the weirdest slope to it possible. So let's fix this a little bit. This is the problem with this game, man. I get I get distracted like crazy, guys. I'm, I'm a little fuster all over the place. This is a mess. Hmm. Uh, that is way too steep. Is there a way to soften this up? Do something like that. Still a little too steep, but you know, the young kids, they can do it. We still have a garbage problem, oh boy. Uh, just in the high school, literally just then. So we need more workers, we need a lot more people. So let's continue to expand this out on. God, I'm not, I'm not too great at this game, it seems like, cause I'm not sure what I'm doing. Uh, so let's, let's just keep this grid going out, is this? Come on, buddy. Hmm. Is there a snapping? What do I...
This is going to be a mess. But here we are. All right, that's new, not too crazy this loop. I'm temporarily, we are gonna drag these out and then just connect this row to them. Uh, just keep it straight. And we are gonna lower this a bit. All right, nice. And now we can just build little plots of land here for homes. So, cut through, nice. This is gonna be like, these might be, you know, looking in the future where we have condos or like special assets. Um, because the high buildings aren't just going to be here. They're really tall stuff. They're going to spread here for land value and stuff. Uh, let's get some homes down. I think the power should connect okay over here. And is there any way I can just touch these guys? And water. Water is always an issue in my town. You know, at the beginning of the series, I said we're going to keep everything on the roads, and I've done nearly the opposite. So we'll get some more workers out here. Is there a heavy traffic flow? No, but I think this looks really, really nice. What is going on? Yeah, I think this looks very, very nice. And boom, boom, coming right into the town. A lot of walking, man. A lot of walking. What are we? What are we going to do about that? We're gonna we're gonna extend our walking path. Um, I'm almost at 4,600. So in the meantime, let's fix this up. Um, I'm probably going to time lapse fixing this. Give that a go. See what we can do. That way it just doesn't take too long on my end. And this video is much longer than it should be with zero progress. So I'll probably do a little voiceover and let me know in the comments if you like this idea. All right, let's get started. All right, everyone. So we're doing a little time lapse here. And as soon as I start, of course, we get to a busy town accomplishment. We get a lot of stuff here. Um, we don't really do too much with it other than the uh, one road I was looking forward to get in this episode. So I don't go over it. Um, and we'll probably talk about it in next episode and I'll make sure to jot that down. So the first thing I'm doing is, I think you've all noticed since I've been flying through there, the cameras, the terrain has been awful here. Now, I am, probably one of the worst landscapers imaginable and when it comes to this game it is even worse uh it's just not my um forte not very good at this but i think i find a nice little balance for the um i guess the the land here to make it look nice still uh it still has kind of like a drop off to the river so we're high up you know just in case any flooding don't have any of those uh dlc but I've thought about it and maybe uh so it still is kind of like a looking down on the river kind of thing. I didn't want to be too close to it because I actually have an idea to put those, uh, those kind of like, um, I don't know the word I'm thinking of. They're called quays or quas or something. And I'm thinking about putting those against the river at some points. So there's more of a lookout, maybe like almost like a fake pier kind of thing on the river. I think that'd look really, really nice. So I didn't want to get too close and too down. I still want there to be a nice slope. So right now I'm just working on the terrain, uh, fix it up to about where the path goes, just make it all look nice, make sure it's the same level for certain areas, not too too much of a uh, slope anywhere. I'm sure, um, looking back in the comments, I could have used the Move It tool. I heard there's a slope uh, mechanism in there or something to help with slopes. Gotta get rid of that tree, can't have people tripping over that or crashing with their bikes. So I'm gonna look into that going into episode four, so I'm this voiceover after the episode's done. Um, I, I don't really know what else. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're placing down some trees. Sorry. I had to make sure you know where I'm at. I'm looking at different fences to use. All of those fences were just for like suburbs or the industry. I'm um, just checking out the different things we have here. I end up putting down uh, one of these bad boys right here. I don't think anyone can walk to it, but it looks pretty nice. And you know, that's what matters this game. I don't know if, um, 
what our people do matter. But if it looks nice, it's, it's good to me. Um, something we're gonna debate for a little bit is should this all be trees or not? Because it'd be blocking the view of the river, but at the same time, it gives the comfort and security for the people to visit the park, have shade, uh, stuff like that. And it kind of keeps it like their the habitat that they live in, these homes are. And I don't want it too barren here because that wouldn't, if it's all trees, that's a lot of money to cut down, a lot of stuff like that. So if someone's gonna make a public park, I feel like they limit to as many trees as they wouldn't chop down. Of course, I just start placing random trees eventually. And um, that's not easy to do. And that takes a while. So we get a little bare here, but I decide, hey, let's put down some picnic tables. The high school's right there, the basketball court. We've got our parking lot filling up as well that we put down. Got some nice flowers. I really just want to spruce this area up because this is going to be one of the main connections. The elementary school is right down behind the high school and the high school's right there. And that's, that's in this town, that's something that the people are going to enjoy. Being able to do something after school, keep the kids busy, and for the students um, to just have a place to hang out at the park, to have food, eat, after school sports, where are you going after? I just wanted to make it, I wanted to make it look nice because it's not going to be a centerpiece, but it will be a, a kind of area people are gonna, can conglomerate, like can, uh, can be near. Um, so uh, here I am just placing trees down. Yep, very, very realistic, I will say. See what else we're up to. More trees, We've got the big trees now providing good shade. So this is what I'm talking about. See, now you see the line of uh, the line of sight. It's not really great to the river anymore, but I think that's okay. I think it gives a little bit of life over here and you'll still hear the river. You'll still go near it. So you'll be enticed. Now what I'm doing here is I'm placing these purple trees. I forget the name of these uh, at each entrance of these walkways and kind of near. Something I really, really love as I've been paying more attention to infrastructure is subtle cues that tell you something. If it is an object, a sign, something like that. And having these purple trees, the residents will know, hey, whenever that's that, that's a way to leave the park, get off the walking path. That is like a milestone. Maybe, I don't know, drag racing, right? You have your quarter mile, right? That is something people know. That's where you're supposed to get to. Biking, running, you know, people can decide what they want to do with that. Obviously, I'm thinking a little too deep into it, but I think that would be a... Something I would look into, like, hey, I made this purple tree, I know I can get off, or I know the third purple tree in is the high school, something like that. So here I just extend the path a little bit more, make sure I connected the crosswalks. Um, this took a really long time because I'm really not amazing with uh, the key bindings and everything in this game. So I was just thinking, you know, might as well place this down and start the foundation to have this walking path connect to the next neighboring town. Obviously, in the end, these will all kind of be together and there'll be different boroughs and different districts. Um, something we should keep in mind too is roads are eventually have to cross these sidewalks. So what are we going to do there? Or these paths? What are we going to do? Build over, under, and here, that's where I'm debating this. So we have this really cool asset that is like a walking bridge. It's super high up. It's crazy high up, but it'd be great for a road to go under it to start a bridge over into the island. And I'm kind of experimenting with different ways we make this look. I end up not really enjoying it and you can see why. Uh, I think I can just make my own set set um, asset a little bit better. It's not, I don't know, it's a little finicky. Maybe I have to move it up closer. I guess the height is there for a reason. So we'll find that out when I do end up using it. But here we are just checking everything out. Going to keep decorating a little bit more. And yeah, just making it look nice over here. You know where the entrance is, the elementary school is, the high school. And then I add some trees, um, some more decorations, some flowers. Making the high school just like a nice place to be in. You're going to want your kid to be enrolled there. Once again, more trees. I love the trees in this uh, this map. I don't know. It's somewhere I would love to live to. So that's what I was trying to make it. Where would I want to spend uh, my time in the park? What kind of park would I be around? What, can I, what do I want to see? A lot of great flower assets here I want to use. But I think we're wrapping up the time lapse. We got a lot done on this side of the walking path. So we'll see where we go from here. All right, so that wraps up everything I did. I probably explained myself because this went much longer than I wanted to. So I probably explained the decisions I was thinking while making this. Um, so this is what it's looking like. We'll do one final walkthrough. I balanced everything out. We got the nice little entrances. Massive tree in the way. Another massive tree in the way. Okay, looking great so far. All these lovely connections. Great connection over here. Oh, sorry, we passed this connection. Over here, I added parks and benches. Oh, you know, like 
seating and eating areas. So maybe the high school kids after school, after a basketball game, stuff like that. Oh, look at the parking lots making use. Love that. Yeah, hey, go car, car infrastructure. Won't, won't be for long. Enjoy, enjoy your time now, but it's not happening in the future in this city. So if you come down here, uh, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, the walking path. This is going to be the bridge over. I think this will look really nice. Uh, I probably mentioned this as well, but the purple trees look really nice as entrance, you know, uh, ways giving clarity to walkers. Look how many people are using this walking path. This is amazing. This is exactly what I want this city to be about. Connected to all the suburbs. It's just going to help overall. I wonder if it's going to bring happiness. Okay, so I think this is where I expanded it out. I'm not gonna mess with this yet. This is probably something we'll do each episode. We'll just do a little time lapse and I'll fix it up. It just takes a lot of time and I don't think you guys wanna hear me babble for that long, but this area looks really good. And now the dilemma is, I mean, maybe some comments can help me. Do we wanna keep this like a forest on the sides or is that blocking the view for people over here? Or is it a great divider? Or is it that green belt we're looking for? So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So I did place some trees down just to make it have that forest feel, kind of like an escape from the busyness. Um, maybe it's something that entices people. Maybe we should knock some trees down, have more uh, line, like sight of lines here. Line of sight, I think that's the right way to say it. I don't know. Um, anyway, so we wrapped up that. I really don't know how long this episode's been going for. Um, can I guess a little bit so maybe we'll have to wrap it up soon but I feel like I didn't make as much progress as I did so I guess the last thing we'll do today is finish up the industry by finish up I mean revamp it so we're probably gonna have to pause here we have a lot of great money I think all our vitals are fine to power water is not so let's just resolve that real quick um which way does water come water comes from here do we actually have one we have one station wow uh this guy here I just don't want to be uh, pulled away because if you have as you've noticed I uh, constructed very easily so my plan here is to have another connection right here to do so I'm gonna delete these trains tracks and maybe some trees along the way yeah I don't think I want any of this here my reasoning for this is because I think I think having this be our main road, right? It's gonna connect here. It's gonna branch off this way, go somewhere else, but for the time being, we'll eventually connect. And then this will also be like a Y. So like this is the right of way, right? This is always going straight. And then this will have a connection out. Maybe this road here, I haven't decided if I want it out. And then this will connect here. Maybe not to this literal road, but it'll be this way. So it's like, it's like a tree, you know, it's feeding, I don't know. Uh, I'm awful at this. I can't do any commentary. So it's a tree and it's feeding out, you know, the leaves out this way, right? Like a big palm tree. That's how I'm viewing this, this road right here. The palm tree analogy, we'll call it that one. So let's take a look here. We're gonna pause because we're gonna cause a lot of problems. I really like the industry road for this because this is all people are gonna be using it for. I, I really hope so. Oh, the other thing I wanna do before we get too far, Right here, I'm gonna ban heavy traffic. We did get that. I hope I mentioned something during the time lapse. I probably, it happened as soon as I went to go do the time lapse, we hit the milestone I was looking for. So I wasn't thinking ahead, but if we go to city planning, we could ban heavy traffic, which means they're just gonna use their road that is designated for them. We're gonna encourage biking over here. Uh, oh, what's workers union? The worker union has a strong presence in the city, it provides the workers with better benefits, increases their morale, but also slight Reduces tax income, so it increases adult citizen happiness, reduces revenue. The workers union. You know what? That's very f fitting here. I like this. I like this. But that's more for you. Um, what does Old Town mean? Okay. Okay. That's like. That would be. That would be something maybe for the, the Rolling River Hills, which I don't think we're gonna get to this episode, unfortunately, but next episode, I will be sure to work on this because this space is pretty awesome. And I think having it like, because this needs commercial use, but I'm not putting commercial up here. 
So I think having a great connection, maybe somehow here having walking paths is going to be great. They're going to be like their own little bubbles the more I think about it. Uh, speaking of which, we should. Uh, I told, I'm not going to expand that for some reason. I remember why, but I don't know. Um, so I think that should help with traffic. I mean, traffic's looking great, man. It's this. This is this is some good stuff. Somehow it's slower than it was before. It's just this area, but it really looks really nice. So let's get back to what I was talking about. So I have this road asset here, which got with the milestone. So it's it's a highway. This is very similar. I live I live off of I ninety five in the Americas, the North America specifically and the East Coast to get even more specific. And a lot of our highways, maybe maybe not, a few areas have this layout. So I wish I could put it down without spending the money. Um, let's see here. So the highway's underneath, right? And then it dips under, and then there's a six lane above it. And off the highway sides, you join in on the six lane, right? This is the issue. On the, I can't move my mouse, but above where it says construction costs, that's gonna be a light. And then to the opposite side of that, on the left, is gonna be a light as well, which causes traffic and a lot of backup. But what I'm thinking is we make these little off ramps a little bit more like, um, like if you wanted to go left, there would be a light, but you can guarantee go right. You know, like it's just a yield over there. So that's my plan. And we're going to plop this baby down right over here somewhere. So there's going to be a little construction cut going on. I'm thinking right here. And then the sixth lane can connect here, which is where I kind of want to put a forest industry. And then we have the cargo um, ferry. Oh, we're getting too far ahead of ourselves. we got a lot to do. So let's pause. And I think here's where we're going to start it all. And I might have mentioned it before, but if you ask yourself, why is he doing this? We need another way to, we're gonna bump residential demand crazy, but we need another way to get these goods on this highway to get to other parts of our future city faster and to export, to get them out of here, to send them out of this highway into the abyss. It's like route one, just into the abyss, right off the highway, sell us our, our goods, make some money. Um, because a lot of these people are going over here, boom, 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 out of the city, out. Other ones are going to businesses, but if we can filter out the business people by going here and the the exporters, this would be great. So let's uh, try to line this up as best as we can so we don't have to do too many adjustments. Boom. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is a freaking roller coaster. Dude, imagine, um, imagine hitting this. At 60 miles an hour, you're going to go... You might hit this. This is not danger, is dangerous at all. I would per, I would drive this. Uh, 100%. So, let's get it connected up. So, these actually have walls. Uh, which is interesting. I don't know. Do we have the wall ones? Which one are highways? There we go. Oh, we do. Oh, sound barriers. That's... Maybe not walls, so we're gonna, is that the right way yet? Yeah? yeah, that does not look good. I can get that to be a little bit better, I think. That is not a little bit better. Okay, we're going back. That's a square one. That's that's like square zero. There we go. All right, this actually does not look too bad. I guess these are popular. So like, I like this idea, right? The the trucks gonna come off. What I'd rather have here is this. You go right and you're just on instead of you hitting a light. This actually is a really nice asset that someone built, but it's a little bit more meant for the cities. I think Philadelphia is a great example. They actually have this, um, but the road is completely underneath the whole time. It doesn't come back up. Um, what's it? It's the Fran uh, Franklin, uh, Benjamin Franklin Boulevard or I-76, I believe it is. Uh, it's called, they have stuff very similar to this. Maybe that's what I was trying to explain. 
um, earlier. That's it's less of a 95, more of I-76. So anyway, looks nice. Now let's see what we're gonna do with the rest. We're gonna come over here. Is there industry roads? No. So this is a four lane medium industry road. Maybe that's what we'll rock with. We have Anarchy on. Um, my plan was, ooh, I have an idea. We are going to come here. Upgrade all of this. And oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. Sorry. Just relocate you there. Make sure this is all zoned. Yeah. And here we go back to the palm tree analogy. Everyone. Oh, that's good. And there's two lanes. We're going to go here. Here. And we're going to begin. I want to line it up with this guy. But he's disappearing after a bit. Um, hmm. This is maybe it would be easier if we do this. So, but I don't. We're not gonna have this as industry. We're just gonna have this as normal. Because it's normal with the trees on the side. This is gonna be like a boulevard. This is still not the right road. Third times to charm. Uh, large, wow, we have a lot of options here. Six lane road, decorated trees, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Bring you down a bit. We got big trucks, so we don't want the craziest slope, especially here. Um, well, this is this is this is for drag racers over here. All right, making good progress, folks. We're we'll going back to our four lane industry road. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, we failed to do that, right? And then... Should we just have this shoot straight across? Yeah, because I don't, I don't think that many people are going to be turning here. And let's fix up the power situation. Uh, wow, what is... I think we just do these, these two-lane small industry roads everywhere. I love these. I don't know where these are an asset or from a mod pack or what's, what they are, but I really like the way these look. Gives it a little bit more um, depth to this area. It makes them a little realistic. It reminds me when you take like a wrong turn on a highway and you end up in one of these industry parks and the roads are different, they're like falling apart. Oh yeah, these look really, really nice. Yep, just dead grass everywhere. Beautiful. Uh, we didn't pause good because this needs to be fixed up a bit. If we can have this,
There we go. Not the best look, but this is this is what I'm looking for. So if you're in an industry, if you're in the, in the little industry park, you're like, I need to get to the highway. The game probably doesn't think this, but if you're a person, you'd come out this way, you'd take a left, you'd cross this bridge, hit a bunch of lights, hit the roundabout, come here, come off the highway, you go up here to go right, and then this, oh yeah, this is like a, I forgot this is how the map works. It's like, it's like switching from like 295 to I-95. And then if the other way would be like, no, I go down here, take my right, hit this, Follow the longest road possible. Maybe some see some racers. Do my turn. Come down. Take my right. Get on. So what we could do is do a little cut right here. So you avoid this light. Let's connect the highway and see how everything turned out. Highway. Do the highway sound barrier. These are, all have to be one way, I think, right? This could be a little bit better. I really like this. Is it working? Oh, and this is also a great spot for people to do U-turns. I didn't even think about that. Hopefully that doesn't cause any problems. Do these trucks go flying when they go down here? Oh, can, you, can we go slower? Why do I feel like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a little moped action. All right, enough fun. Is anyone actually, yes, 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 yes. This is what we're looking for. Even the smallest amount would decrease this traffic by a lot. So what happens when they come over here? I don't know why you're, okay. So here comes the dump truck. See here? So you're gonna turn. Perf, holy shit. That'd be the worst explosion possible. Gasoline, concrete, oh my God. So let's just, uh, before we call this and kind of recap what we went through today, let's always make sure you're turning. You're our straight lane. Oh, everyone's confused. They don't know what's going on. You're only turning, you're straight. Perfect. So hopefully we will see more use of this here. Um, I think this was, this is, I'm really happy this was easy because before I started this episode, I actually did this on my own and it, it wasn't anything like this. It was a mess, uh, but I found this and I just really, really love this because I do want this to be another industry spot over here. I want this to be where we make the big bucks, the 20,000. Um, oh, oh no. Why do we have no power? You're connected. Is it because this got messed up? I think that should be fine though. That should be fine. Uh oh. How is, oh, I am so dumb. This isn't connected. Wow, we would, that's why we're losing money. So, all right, let's do a little recap. So we stay organized for the next episode. I think we made some great progress here. Just wanna thank everyone again for joining me. Um, I know it doesn't seem like it, but I think we just laid down some even more foundations to get us started. So earlier in the video, we started this little area, which will kind of serve as like a hub to the hills up here. So maybe this would be more of like a high tech homing, or maybe we see this be more of an apartment complex area. I definitely could see that for these squares right here. I don't know what happened here. Let's quickly fix that. Wow, man, these this game flies by. Cause I was hoping it gets a transportation and a lot of things today, but I guess we'll we'll save it for next episode. That looks a little better. And we'll just make sure this is zoned out right. Uh, so I could see these being more of apartment complexes. 
Um, we haven't got to high density residential zoning. We still have a bit, which is fine. So I still have a lot to do. And then I kind of like this being the strip and maybe we even have something going on here, you know, like a big park space. I don't know, big fan of parks. Um, so yeah, we started out here. We built kind of a suburbs to hit our milestones. Uh, this will help us with the next episode creating a residential zone up here for the wealthy, or maybe wait to do this in the future. Uh, is there, there's nothing called high tech housing. That's just a policy. Uh, Cause I kind of want higher tech homes up there. And got our services all set here. We even connected the walking path. Um, we'll do it briefly. This is all gonna change, but just so people can actually enjoy it for the time being, we'll connect you up. Don't you worry. Uh, the other thing we have to keep in mind about the walking path going forward is what, how, how are these bridges gonna happen? If this is the connection, are we gonna do a tunnel? Uh, I think you saw, if I remember, I was trying to experiment with like overpass things. Maybe we do that. Does that look good? Like what, what are our thoughts on that? Um, that's something we also have to keep in mind. I think tunnel pedestrian paths are very strange and uncommon, at least where I'm from. There are a few, especially in your train tracks, but I've never really seen it to be dealt with a road. Mainly the roads go over them, um, but I think that'd be a lot. I, I don't think that actually happen. I don't think we would see a bridge over this and the walking path stays under. I think we would just get rid of this space, uh, especially while it's being built. So we continued out this path. I think it looks really nice. A lot of people are using it. We should add a little bit more um, like services. I don't know the right thing, maybe park benches. Um, I just love it down here near the high school. I put a lot more props. It's like, it's like busy, you know, there's a lot going on. It's secluded, it feels safe. Um, and yeah, purple trees, pink trees let us in. We'll probably fix up the elementary school, maybe put some parks over here. This is our older style of homes. Uh, maybe not anymore. Uh, so they need a lot more parks. And if our land value goes here, we'll be making a lot more in taxes. So we wrapped up over here. Uh, I still don't really know what I'm gonna do with this space. Right now it's like giant cul-de-sac. We did great progress on, um, what do you call this? Oh, that's, a, that's, that's a little bit more straight. Great progress on infrastructure road-wise. I think this is much better. Our traffic is looking great. I'm sure the number is low for some reason, 82%, but look, no huge red circle. And that is because, boom, look at these new industry roads. Oh, this is so nice. This is exactly what I was looking for. Just for a few amount of uh, cars to come over here and get off onto this highway. And it's also another entrance for, um, to get off here instead of getting off over here and entering our city. So we're no longer land, we're no longer a cul-de-sac. We've upgraded people. We've made huge upgrades. Anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I wanna get this episode out and I wanna get to episode four. And I don't, I don't really know what I'm gonna do there. We have so many options to break off of. So if anyone wants to comment to see what they wanna see me work on, uh, please let me know. And yeah, thank you for checking out the video. Uh, we'll be back in Twin Rivers for episode four. And till then, I hope everyone enjoys your day, your week, whatever's going on, and I will see you in the next one.